Hello, everybody, and welcome back to RoboCop. Uh, it's been a while since we played this. We've done some playthroughs in between this. Uh, basically, I stopped playing this game um, like a couple months ago. Like right after this came out, we started doing the uh, the playthrough, and basically, I stopped it because the game would just not stop crashing. It it. I, I got to a point where it was like the game just crashed multiple times and it wasn't even worth playing. So there's been a couple updates to the game since and uh, they've fixed a lot of the crashing issues according to what I've read. So hopefully uh, we're finally going to be able to get into this uh, and uh, yeah, we can get finally get back to playing this. And uh, Sarah's here, of course. So, you know, Sarah will be uh, joining me on this, on this ride, so. By the way, Sarah, you missed my playthrough of, um, god damn it, what's it called? Um, oh, you were in the hospital. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, god damn it, what was it? I can't even remember shit. What's that goddamn game called? I just played it. I have such a terrible memory. That like... Oh well. Uh, I was like... So it was like uh, Somerville. That's what, it, that's what it was. Uh, You missed Somerville, which I found out took place in England. So it was kind of... I, I actually was like, oh, Sarah's not here to see this. Um, you had pneumonia. How the fuck did you get pneumonia? Anyway, here we are. Uh, we're back exactly where I left off. So, I don't even know where the fuck I'm going. Oh, that's right, the bikers came back. Damn. I forgot how OP you are in this game. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> Fuck this guy. Well, at least you're over your pneumonia. Or getting over your pneumonia. That's good. I've never had pneumonia in my life. It was one of those things that growing up, my mom was always like, if you, excuse you, it's like if you stay outside in the rain, you're going to get pneumonia. I'm like, all right, well, whatever you say. For a second, I thought the game crashed. I'm not going to lie. I, I was like, are you fucking serious? I run out I did run out of ammo for this. Fuck you. Uh where did those here we go. Get the Uzi back. You know they call it a micro SMG? This is an Uzi. He just stands there and ta Oh. Uh, you know, I say they fix things, and then I I see this guy who's clearly glitched. <laughs> okay, you're alive. Let's just make sure we know who's who at this point. I mean, it's kind of awesome in the sense that you're op you're pretty OP in this game. I mean, you're very overpowered next to regular people. There's a lot of like, ex there's a lot of like little miniature exploring that takes place in this. Uh, you can just kind of like wander around some of these buildings. Where did that? They showed off the grenade launcher guy. What happened to him? I didn't even kill that guy. Hmm. He's somewhere.
And then there's like evidence that you can find, of course. I forgot about that. Okay, well, I guess I'll go up here. Stay out of trouble. Oh! Here's Grenade Launcher Guy. I'll take... Oh, I'll take you taking this. Thank you very much. Oh, yeah. I forgot about all the weapon upgrade stuff. I forgot the Auto 9 has this whole, like, upgrade thing. And then there's, like, the skill tree. That's right. I gotta get, like, the deduction so I can get all of the skill points. Like, the uh, easier skill points to get uh, more experience. I mean, I feel like the biggest issue with this game is that you move so slow, but... I mean, you're a robot. Aren't you getting lonely night in shining armor? No. <laughs> oh, a dumpster! Get dumped! <laughs> Yeah! Ooh. Oh, I threw it too far! Oh god. Yeah, I have the, uh, I have the first Robocop film. I have the Arrow video, uh... Like, limited edition. Oh god. Hey, why don't you stop that? What? There we go. I'm a I'm a pretty massive RoboCop fan. I uh, I'm I'm very much like somebody who wanted the best version of RoboCop. Me. Good. Which is why I have the uh, the first the the first film from Arrow Video because they have the uncut version, which is so much more bloody than the original version that Paul Verhoeven made. His director's cut is just brutal. Hello? Sir, that was not a wise choice. Take that! Throw the radiator at him. Come on, go ahead. Go ahead. Oh. Oh. <laughs> uh. All right. Here, bucko. Fuck you. Off the bike. I've shot you in the leg. How do you walk? How are you walking? The wheels are still spinning. Oh yeah, let's get the dumpster again. Fuck you. Fuck you! Yeah, this game is kind of like the unrated version of, uh, of RoboCop, but in a double-A janky game form. Get fucked. Oh yeah, I forgot I have this, like, dash move, too. Ah. 
That guy's face didn't work. Bye. <laughs> I did forget how good this game is. Like, in terms of how fun it is. It is a very fun game. Lewis! My partner Lewis is in the hospital. Oh god, oh no. The glitches are back. We're gonna start seeing our living room again. I'm broken all over again. Alright, some evidence. I did not I did not check for evidence in some of the other areas over there. Oh Jesus Christ. A jump scare? Uh oh yeah, that's right. How do I scan things? I have a I have a uh skill point as well. Thank you. Dead or alive, you're coming with me. Your move, creep. How do I scan that? There we go. That's how I scan things. Right? Yes? It wants me to scan this. How do I scan the evidence? It's been too long. Where, where am I... to there it is all right we error yeah this is this is this is uh this is my dead body because my arm was blown off we got chips Um, anything else? No, I think we're good. I mean, we can go up here. Oh, another container. Take like more chips, that's fine. Oh, there was a recovery charge in here, too. There we go. Easy fix. Push the door. How about I just kick it open? Give me the evidence. Give me the evidence. I'll be taking that. Thank you. Play the tape. I've only forgotten because I haven't played in so long. It's like I literally haven't touched this game since last year. So it's been a while. Since before the Alien Isolation playthrough, nonetheless. I knocked his fucking tooth out. Well, cop. Now we know you won't be leaving here in one piece. You won't either. Hey. You're spoiling my mood again. I don't like it when cops wander around. Cops mean trouble. And trouble upsets me. So really, this is your fault. Do whatever you want. But soon the cops no. will... No cop of any kind is going to show up here anymore. Wendell! The police officially. Won't be I almost forgot about you. From this area. Does this mean we have a deal? As long as you can work quietly. We're vultures. You need carrying. 
We're up for the job, no worries. And as for your toy, would you like to join us? <laughs> A fine offer. Sealing our contract in blood, but I prefer cleaner. I still think Wendell is just a reincarnated oh, version of Hans Gruber. We'll do some hunting. Could add a bit of cheer. Spice things up a bit. And I know just the right place for it. How does it feel knowing we're gonna take you to the quarry and shoot your ass to pieces? And the police ain't gonna do shit about it. Why didn't you just do it in this room? I bet it really pisses him off. I could not find Officer Briggs. Your reading's off the charts. What happened? I found a tape of Briggs being tortured. Their boss, Spike, was in on it, together with Wendell Antonowski. Did you say he was tortured? Yes, surrounded, with no way out and no backup. That sounds so messed up. They used him as prey. They mentioned a quarry. Uh, did, did you say quarry? Okay, let me, let me have a look. Yeah, I see it. It's just north of your position. On my way. Robocop. I really hope you find him. On my way. Stay out of trouble. I'm like one of the few people that actually likes the Robocop remake. Med of metal. Good luck. See, I, I actually like the Robocop remake. I I I like uh I like Neo Future type stuff. And even though Robocop is that way, it's very much like that 1980s feel. Whereas the newer one feels more futuristic. Low. Um. All right, so there's like an OCP chest over here. Thanks. Is it on the other side of the building? Ah. Okay, uh, uh stolen watch. That chest either. I think the 
It's like back through this. What are you gonna do? <laughs> I should have thrown the dumpster at him. Oh no! Got him. You know what? Here you go. That's what you get, sir. To the tunnels. No? See, it looks like it's over here, but it's probably. Yeah, it's like in here, but it's from the other side. I don't care enough. I gotta go... I gotta go this way anyway. Right? Yeah. Robocop should be forklift certified. You should let me... Drive the forklift. Alright, so we'll go through here. Ground evidence. <laughs> Fucking idiot. Hey man, you're, there. you're missing all your limbs. I hope you find things. I will not stop until I do. Oh, so you think you're a tough guy, huh? If you really think you got the guts, come on. You love our place in the Northwest. It's the home of our smuggling operation. And I'm telling you now, there's plenty. Let's not forget the other one in the north. It's filled with them crazy drugs we skipped off those stupid pumps. You're incriminating yourself, sir. That's not something that would interest you. He's clearly prepared an ambush for you. Yeah. That's why you won't try to go there, right? Right? Oh, I'm going. the drug stash, collect the documents. What the hell is this? Unwanted goods. Biker secrets. Okay, so I have both of these locations to go into. And I think that's on the other side of this gate, so... Oh, shit! Ha 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 stepped on a landmine! Moron. He planted the landmines and then literally just walks onto them. means we have to be careful. Look out. It's Robo -Cop. That's my name, don't wear it out. If I blow up one of these... I, mean, I might as well use the Auto 9.
Okay, so this is the main objective. Uh, let's... I guess Unwanted Drugs is over here, so we might as well go over here. Over here. Who plants landmines on top of a box? That's right, I forgot I was using the concept version of the Auto-9. I forgot I have all the skins as well. I think we're still- we're actually using Robocop 2. Oh shit, still. Absolute buffoons. Oh! Oh, I beamed him. Oh, man. box it can be moved what are you hiding here let's go oh hell yeah your stash thank you I'll take all of that Actually, gonna take this. Thank you very much. All right, so this is where the drugs are. A train operating handbook. Short circuit will set off the locomotive. Okay. second I thought I saw a circle. that I found, or any of them. Alright, well, I'll just get back down there and breach the door, shall I? Oh no, we're entering the building. He has a grenade launcher. Oh god. 
Let's be a little careful. Oh, shit! Oh, God. Did that Was that my own grenade that hit me, or somebody else's? So hard to judge the distance of that thing. <laughs> oh God! Just blown myself up. Let me just check around here a little bit. Uh, I've worn that out. Might as well grab this. Anything back here? No. Ah, here we go. Okay, so that's where we came in from. Put them back here. As well. Okay. Grab this. Oh shit, I almost died. Take the shotgun, why not? Oh god! Oh, there's a 50 cal sniper rifle. Well, why the hell not, huh? I don't think I've used one of these. Oh god, it's so like it's so slippery. Take that, thank you. Try I still have a skill point. I should get into deduction. Hooray! Green boxes. Uh, where? Ah, there. Well, I've destroyed all your drugs. Now what? Oh, the grenade launcher guy was the guy on the top of the van. Oh, come on, please. They could have sent guys my way. Stay in that hallway so I could snipe them.
No drugs for you. Cherish the good times while they last. You won't be so lucky with the next one. Hmm, say that, but... Alright, get the incriminating documents. Robocop? Are you there? I am. Oh, thank God. <sighs> How was it? Was that a risk worth taking? Yeah. I have destroyed the supply of drugs. Spike must have felt confident about his small army. So I'm guessing you're ready for round two? I am going for a knockout. I am going for a pizza. here. Oh shit, I forgot about the mines. Oh, finally, somebody to shoot with a sniper rifle. Oh god, I missed. Why is it why is it such a bright flash? It's like blinding. It's like a it's like <laughs> It's like a flashbang going off every time I fire it. I can't see. <laughs> why is it like that? Why is it that bad? What why does it do that? The, f the flash gun. I mean, it's already bad enough that I got this like, wee wee wee, it's, all, it's so slippery, but. <laughs> God damn it. Where am I going? I don't think it's fun for me. It's terrible. <laughs> God damn it. It's literally it's literally like having to like quick scope all over again. Some people died in there. Oh, not enough, it seems. You're gonna blow up your guys' own truck. I could have thrown that. <laughs> okay, it's going to be all 
way. You guys have stolen merchandise. Why are you just leaving it to sit in the bathroom? Get back where you came from there. Oh, of course. My engineering is like... I didn't get any skills in the engineering all the way as I should have. It's probably... Mm. It's like my weapon damage is not up. All because I wanted the... This game's going to have New Game Plus, though, so... I may actually come back to this game when it's... When it's a New Game Plus, just get all the skills. His shotgun landed right on the lid. See your friends. I see your friends. Hi. Alright, so if we go over here, there's a chest. Alright, sniper rifle. What the fuck happened to that guy? I didn't even shoot him! What? I didn't even see what happened to him. How did he even die? He just dropped. What's going on? No scope. I mean, I don't think I have to shoot them in the head. Oh. Yeah, I mean, I just don't know how he died. He just fell. It's like if he... It's, it's as if he shot a bullet into the wall and it ricocheted off and just killed him. Oh, ass to his face. Hey. Oh! I did it again. I, I threw his head into the beam. Oh, God. Shut my hand up! <laughs> Stop it! Oh, there we go. Now I'm, I'm getting good at that now. At throwing their them head first into a beam. This like a bitch. Well, don't shoot me then. Look at this guy. 
He's helpless. He can't do anything. Oh. I kind of was hoping that I would just throw him through the wall. Okay, we can open the door to go back. Hi. Look, explosives. New point. Not to piss me off. Yeah. yeah I'm the last person you want to piss off. Uh, doubles critical damage. I mean, this is, this would be good to have. I kind of want to be able to open safes, though, so. Not all that glitters. Goods, stock, designation, low-grade Weapon cases, 30 for trade. Police car, wheel trims, 92 for trophy. Uh, high grade weapon cases, 85 for trade. Tires, 78 for reserve. Look, they spill tires with the Y. Nuke boxes, 15 to burn. Helmet, 62 reserve. 6,000 SUX engines, 14 to smuggle. Well, I've cleared out all of the things he wanted, and now that cop is probably dead. They've probably shot him to pieces, as promised. Uh, there's still a box over here. Is it upstairs or is it out here? It's in this like back fence area. Yeah, it is. Let's just go down through here. I again forgot about the mines. Uh. All right. I'll see you later. Thanks for stopping by. Well, this isn't the way to go. Careful. Jeez. All right, so... Clearly, they wanted me to... Yeah. They're gonna have turrets down here. Oh my god! I just clear out all the mines! That 
That was perfect! out all of them, but... I cleared out enough! I mean, there's still some in here, but... Damn, that was... Oh, I should probably do that again through here. Here we go. Oh, there we go. I just follow the way that I threw th threw the dumpster. Did he just say my head? He got shot in the heel. Look at that. Shot him right in the heel of his foot. Oh yeah, here we go. More ammo. <laughs> okay, well. Main objective. all of Briggs' equipment. And an assault rifle. Of course, it's a scope. I'm guessing that was Briggs' assault rifle. Would Briggs just want me to actually kill people with this? Like, kill them with my own gun, Robocop. Yep. Robocop, your body temperature is very low. Are you okay? I am in the freezer. What is a freezer even doing there? A bunch of dead cops on ice, or just dead people on ice, they period. Used it to store Briggs' body. Oh. So that means. He was not the only victim. There's more people. More Damn. bodies? A lot That's of them. That's insane. I'm getting you back up, even if it gets me in trouble. The only person who should expect trouble is Spike. Well, now we know Briggs is dead, so... Free group with the police squad. Robocop, all available patrol cars are coming to support you. I've told them to meet you by the old workers' building. According to reports, it's part of their headquarters. And Robocop, I'm sorry it took so long. I hope you can forgive me for the freshman attitude. I was just trying to do my best. Alright. Back forward to not step on anything. Oh boy. Snipers. Uh oh.
Oh my god. I'm just gonna get shot to shit. Star Rifle has like so much kickback. Fuck. And I can't like get up to any of these. that mine. I need to get up here and see if I can kill this guy so I can get the fuck out of here. Can you not drop the sniper rifle? for that. Alright, just going to use the train's cover. Ah, here we go. How the turn tables. See him. Oh. Oh, he got splattered all over the ladder. That's pretty awful. See him down here. And I have no healing now. So I gotta go all the way back out to uh, the, like the front area. Murphy, this is Manson. We cornered the bikers in the mill, but we could use some help. We're at the southeast gate. Acknowledged. On my way. Here. 
Can you fly? It's like this chest is in here. But like, I can't get up these stairs because it's like... Oh no, there's a ladder here. But I can't use it. What if I shoot it? Because it's like I have to kick it down from the top, but... That's alright, it's one chest. I'm not too concerned. Oh! You got an Ed 209 out of here, how nice. Hey, Robo! Oh, there's that lady again. The reporter Good, lady. You're here. We're standing our ground. The bikers have retreated to the yard behind that big gate. Now, let's decide on the strike team. I go on my own. No need to risk lives. OCP has supplied us with an Ed 209. Maybe you could make use of it, even if it is just for cover. Robocop, can I have a moment of your time? Can you leave him alone, lady? You caused him enough trouble already. Hey, I just want the people to know what's going on in their city. Can't say she isn't good at what she does. She got here before us. Anyway, it's up to you. If you need a bit of time to speak with her or wrap up anything else around here, it's not a problem. Those bikers aren't going anywhere. But if you're ready to go, Ed 209 is here for your support. Just say the word. All right. Their time is up. <laughs> I am going in. Good luck, Murphy. Alright, more enemies than your competitor to pass the efficiency challenge. Grants additional experience points during RoboCop's evaluations. Oh, okay. Ed 209 and RoboCop fighting hand in hand? I can't wait to see how this goes. better weapons. Some better than the Ed 209. I've already killed 19 of his six. Come on, big boy. We're going through here. Of course I kicked his ass. He's a robot. Well, I mean, like, he's a dumber robot. Here you go, Ed. Look like that, dumbass. I'm guessing you're close to catching Spike. Maybe he could lead us to Wendell. 
If those two struck a secret deal, no wonder Wendell ditched the punks. Anyway, be careful in there. I wouldn't be surprised if that slime had more tricks up his sleeve. I mean, he did lead, lead me on multiple goose chases. Good luck with that. You? You're going up and out. See ya! Stop doing that. Stop it. Oh. Stop it. Oh. When you throw them really far, it's like you know they're not getting back up. to trespass on our turf and that shit doesn't fly with us what's that noise please put down your weapon you have 20 seconds to comply the situation is under control you now have 15 seconds to comply uh oh stand back i'm do one better cop i'm out of here you now have five seconds to comply for I said three, everything is two, under control. One, and I stand am now there. authorized to use physical force. Jesus! Ed's broken. Why don't you try making that your target? 
in the brain. throw bombs at it. Fuck you, Ed. Just to like bait him around a little bit. There we go. The pig squeal. What the hell happened here? Ed two oh nine malfunctioned. Uh, is... is he still alive? I am afraid not. OCP sent us a malfunctioning unit. I bet they did that on purpose. And what about the other cop killer? Where did Spike go? Wherever he went, justice will find him. There we go. Oh, we're in the hospital. 
skills. Let's do engineering again. You pick the heart. I am looking for a female officer who arrived yesterday with a gunshot wound. You need to be a little more specific, honey. Her name is Lewis. She is in a coma. Ah, oh, second floor. Take the elevator. Thank you. Uh, my wife. She was with me when they started shooting. That's the VIP section of the hospital. But there's so much room in there, we're all cramped up in this little space. Sir, please calm down. Take a seat, sir. Secret admirer. Kitty, you wouldn't answer and I was dying to tell you that policeman was here again. He left chocolates for her and asked me not to tell anyone it was from him. It's so cute. Looking forward to seeing if his little advances are reciprocated. That is when the poor policewoman wakes up from her coma. The guy seems nice, except for that awful haircut. Murphy, she's right in here. Another visitor? She's in a stable condition. You know, some think that people in her state can hear what's happening around them, even if they don't respond. Why don't you try talking to her? Now, I'll leave you two alone. Lewis. Hello, Lewis. Allow me to update you on our case. <laughs> I know you would hate to be behind on the investigation. I found Officer Briggs. He is dead. Wendell Antonowski has the street vultures collecting bodies. His intent is not clear. I opened your present. It helped. Thank you. I could really use your advice, Lewis. But there's no more room in the morgue. Didn't you hear someone stole a bunch of bodies over the weekend? A corpse thief? What is this world coming to? Lewis, you always find a way to help. Trouble. I'll keep her safe. Don't you worry about her. All right, to the morgue we go. What's the blood pressure? Uh oh. I've got 40 pal. Of course, VFEB. Okay, we gotta shock him. Flashbacks again. Let's get the again. ambu bag. Stand clear. Shock him. Clear. All right, no pulse. Let's go intracardiac epinephrine. Okay, everybody, clear. Stand clear. All right, I think that's all we can do. Let's call it, most of the time. 15. Why do they need brains? All the individuals whose bodies were stolen were healthy and physically fit prior to their deaths. Apparently someone on the black market needs brains, but for what? For brain transplants? No one has made a successful brain transplant since, well, Robocop. They're trying to make another me. 
aren't they? They're trying to make another Robocop. I'm you hear about the missing bodies. No one from the police has come to talk to us yet. I suppose you're preoccupied with the living rather than the dead. Tell me about the case. Usually, we're pretty packed. There are even some bodies that have been here since Christmas. But a couple of nights ago, someone broke into the hospital and stole 30 of them. It's been a blessing in disguise, really. We've got so many unclaimed bodies that I feel like I'm starting to form relationships with them. Is there any link between the bodies? Actually, there is. Our thieves were very picky. All of the corpses had their brains intact. They didn't take a single corpse that had documented brain trauma. I've got to say, they were very thorough. Anything else? That's it for me, but talk to the security guard in the lobby. He should know more. Now that I'm looking at you, didn't I work on you? I recognize that jawline. How the hell would I know? We have some of these. 19%. Do we have a left and right that's uh, more than the 15? Oh, there's a 16. We have an up and down that's 16 as well. Fuse all these like lower ones. I mean, I have no, I have no use for anything under sixteen percent. So, I was at nineteen percent. Um, I was actually meaning to, let me see here. So this can actually go here, 19% capacity. Uh, let's see, can I merge? I merge these like 16 percent. That's another 19. Okay, so, um, I 
I mean, I just don't want to, I don't want to have the penalties. Kind of why I don't have, uh, I don't have these. Because it would definitely give me, like, penalties. It's like my armor piercing goes down. Well, I mean, I guess... If I had a... Well, I guess that works. In the sense that... <clears throat> I have armor piercing a little bit. It's taking a little bit of it away, but... Okay, I guess I can do that. Finally, I've been calling you guys for the past two days. <laughs> I've been calling y'all you know about the disappearance of the morgue. Sure, sure. I know I'm just a security guard, but I know how you operate. I've seen the shows, so let me break it down for you the way you'd understand. I estimate the incident occurred at around 300 hours. Multiple perps entered the GMH from the east and then proceeded to the BLE. Then most likely used the EFS to get down to the MORGUE. What can you tell me about the perps? We caught there later. You caught him? Where is he? Oh, I mean on camera. Uh, there it is. Caucasian male, late forties, dapper dresser, if I can say so myself. I mean, that's clearly that Wendell. Was very helpful. Thank you for your cooperation. But it's not like you can see shit no on problem. that TV. Because I don't have a badge or a service weapon or a cruiser and partner or even a bulletproof vest. That doesn't mean that I can't be of help to the police. No dogs. Good to see you in one piece, Robo. Mr. Becker wasn't happy when he heard about your little trip to Highland Park. But between you and me, what you did was quite impressive. Maybe it wasn't an authorized mission, but it can still give us an idea of how your systems are holding up. So, let's see how you did. I mean, there was no hostages to rescue, so... I did not find all the stolen chests. Wait, intoxicated hostages? Where? Where were they? Whatever, man. Thank you for your cooperation. All right, skills. Let's get uh, this. Um, and then let's see here. So, weapon damage, shockwave. Uh, reduces received damage by 80% for a short time. I mean, the ricocheting off the armor is pretty cool, but that's like very far out. Oh, increases the amount of uh, charges you can have. Let's get that, shall we? We'll start doing like the first two of each of these. What's all the commotion? I'll take that, thank you very much.
This is not the time. Everybody's you pissed about the that. Procedure by now. Officer Cecil will gather Briggs' belongings and deliver them to the family. They asked for a small funeral, so I expect everyone to give the family space. Briggs was one of us. We should at least do something to honor him. Best thing we can do is get those butchers that did this to him. I want to see everyone in the briefing room in ten minutes. Now back to work. Hey, Murphy. You've been to the hospital, haven't you? How's Lewis? Unconscious, but stable. <sighs> She'll pull through. I'm sure of it. It's time to hold OCP accountable. This can't keep happening. Relax, Kaplan. He's not wrong. How many more of us have to end up in the hospital or a morgue before we do something? It's like Sarge said, we need to get the guy who did it, so maybe let's focus on that? Speaking of which, there's someone who might know something. There's a guy in the jail that wants to talk to you, Robo. Okay. See you later in the briefing room. Welcome back, Robo. You have a minute? First of all, I wanted to say I'm sorry that I hesitated back at that steel mill. I already filed a report on the incident to Mr. Becker. Fucking right. As I was writing it, I'd noticed a lot of opportunities to better myself. But considering that was our first mission together, it wasn't all bad, right? You helped plenty. Uh, still a long way to go. I've been getting to know different aspects of being a cop, and there's one thing that I keep underperforming at. Shooting. Would you mind showing me how you practice at the range? Yes, practice makes perfect. Let us not waste any more time. You want to go now? <laughs> yeah, great. Let's go. Why not? I love the smell of this room. Should we start? First, I want to watch you practice. Fair enough. Can... Can I come in? No. I can't help myself. That was... We are not done yet. Right. This has to be some sort of record. It is not. I took Hello. so many notes. <clears throat> Next time, do it quietly. Eliminate distractions. Being overeager is one of them. Ah, so that's the actual lesson. Now I get it. Is your service weapon properly prepared? I was issued this old gun and serviced it according to the manual. I will try it out. Sure thing. There you go. I use his gun. Probably he's gonna like backfire or some shit. Huh. Is everything okay? Your service weapon is broken. I calibrated it. I did everything the manual said. It is beyond repair. They must have issued it to you by mistake. Huh. I don't think that's entirely true. Other cops give me a hard time because Mr. Becker hired me to monitor you. But I guess that's the way it has to be. A cop must be ready. Get a different gun. Sure. Thank you, Robo. I don't use a broken gun. Alright, so... Go. Bad for the double trust 
Uh, public trust points. Ah, this is my favorite law enforcement officer. Talk. Why are you in this cell? I come here to think sometimes. I'm the Pickles. food better than in the soup kitchen. That is called freeloading. <laughs> if it's free, I'll take it. But seriously, I was hoping to see you. I heard what happened to Briggs. After everything he did for me, I'll do whatever I can to help you catch that Wendell guy. He seems pretty good at pitting people against each other. Maybe I'll find some of his dissatisfied customers who'd be willing to talk to me. It could be dangerous. You kidding? On the streets, I'm a samurai. Well, with Briggs dead, it probably makes me more of a... You are not a ronin. Yeah, okay. Just remember, if you need anything, I'm your guy. Pickles. Why am I always the one that has to do it? It's not fair. What is it, officer? Huh? Uh, oh, I, 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 I didn't realize I was talking out loud. It's just that I need to hang Briggs's picture on the memorial wall. It's just a lot. Hey, would you be so kind and help me? All you have to do is find Briggs's photo in the database and print it out. Just make sure to hang it straight. Otherwise, I won't hear the end of it from Sarge. Sure, why the hell not? Autopsy report. For Michael Briggs, age 42, male, physical examination, severe dehydrated and exhaustion. A broken rib cage, superficial stab wounds, and bruising just prior torture. Projectile wounds with damage to the internal organs. Cause of death, multiple shots to the chest from point-blank range from a handgun caliber 9mm rounds. No match with any weapons confiscated at the scene. Manner of death, homicide. Homicidal. I'll print out his uh, picture. There's me. Automatically goes to the police officer database. Thanks, Murphy. I still need to go get his stuff, so you know, I'm going to take care of the desk, but could you get his belongings from his locker? Photo. Gets in a baseball. Yeah. 
You can put everything in the box. I'll make sure his family gets it. You know, I usually do all of this alone, and it doesn't get any easier no matter how many times I do it. But having you share this responsibility with me, it actually helped. Thank you, Murphy. No problem. Uh, I think seemingly is everything. Oh, what's this? Facts from Baby Maid. Dear Mr. Becker, we're extremely flattered after hearing that Robocop's main source of sustenance is our delicious baby food. That is why we wanted to present you with an opportunity for a collaboration. We would like to make Robocop the face of Baby Maid. Who wouldn't want their child to grow up to be a real life superhero? In exchange, we would offer a free supply to Baby Maid as much as you could ever need. Please contact us. Veronica uh, Guerra? That's pretty funny. I like baby food. I guess really the only place I haven't checked is the garage. Maybe go down there and see if there's anything I can do to help. You really do just kind of come across these missions. I guess not. There's nobody down here anyway. All right, into the briefing room. Thanks to RoboCop's insubordination, we finally have something concrete. At your service. Wendell Antonowski struck a deal with the street vultures at Highland Park. A place where, for some reason, we weren't supposed to go. Be that as it may, we're on the lookout for anyone from this biker gang. We also know what he's looking for. Yeah, dead bodies. Dead bodies whose brains are still intact, to be precise. Wow, that's even more messed up. Why would he need them? We'll get to the wise, but for now, we need to focus on catching Spike. He's our connection to Wendell Antonowski. Since they know we're onto them, I'm expecting them to be in hiding. They're not hiding. Put on Channel 9. Uh oh. What in the hell? I repeat. OCP Bank is being robbed by the notorious street vultures. We'll keep trying to get closer for a better view. All right, everyone pack up. I want you all to be at SWAT's disposal. Sergeant, am I back on the case? I don't think Becker will give me grief if I let you go save OCP's money. You're reinstated. Everyone, move out! I am back on the job. Look at that. One of the cops was actually bothered to show up. No need, SWAT's got it covered. What is the situation? Vultures came up with the great idea of robbing the OCP bank. They've got hostages, 
and they claim there's a bomb. They must be crazy to think that OCP will just let them leave with their money. Was there any sighting of Spike? Not yet. But I'm sure they wouldn't pull such a stunt without their leader. What is the plan? Let me make this clear. It's SWAT's plan. You're no part of it. Then you are going to need a new plan. Oh boy. Look who it is. Miss News sneaking in. With this buggy brain of yours, you think you still remember how to put the heat on them scumbags? I prefer to serve justice cold. Show me how it's done. Just to make this clear, I'm still winning. I want to look around for some uh, evidence, perhaps. Oh my god, the wire mess under this desk? Holy hell. anything just these desks oh well, there's some stuff here confidential OCP documents Alex Murphy's property Like my house? Oh, we got a training disc. Uh, let's do the first two in combat. Shockwave, that's down. there we let them in but saw what were happening to them last time please put down your weapon Oh, they managed to actually bring one down. I can see your bank job turned out to 
be quite intense. Ed 209's behaving themselves? So far, so good. You should be heading towards the vault. It's through the office area. Ouch. I have three more on me. I beat the cops again. All right, is there maybe any evidence lying around? I don't think so. Well, I still won. That's all that matters to me. I thought for a minute I was going to lose because of the goddamn Ed 209s. Letter to be framed. Andrea, in the em uh, envelope is the letter I mentioned. Please frame it for me so I can keep it on my desk. I, can I still can't believe that our noble founder wrote that letter to personally thank me for 25 years of my faithful service managing his bank. What a great man. What are you doing in here? here is unauthorized. So is depriving thousands of people of a roof over their heads. But OCP <clears throat> doesn't seem to mind that. <clears throat> Explain. Delta City, a heaven on earth that OCP plans to build in place of old Detroit? A city of the future where there is no crime or poverty. Do you believe the commercials? 
I am working on the no crime part. Then OCP may become the object of your attention soon. In order to create Delta City, OCP must first get rid of people who live in old Detroit. Now that's a topic I'd rather do a story on than you glitching. OCP offered these people investment in the project. The value of their property would cover the cost of entering the business. The later gains will far outweigh the cost, supposedly. You do not believe that. It's OCP. There must be a catch, and I think I found it. The documents say something about additional costs. I believe that's a loophole that OCP placed in order to scam people out of their homes. That is only suspicion. And I need time to prove that my suspicion is true. Time and some of these documents I found. If you detain me, the SWAT jerks will requisition them. All right, you can go. You can go, but if you continue to disobey the law, you will be detained. Maybe I should have treated you more like a police officer than OCP's property. Anyway, the city owes you, and I owe you too. I can see you've reached the manager's office. Great. Now look for a switch that unlocks the doors that lead to the vault. If I was a bank manager, I would probably ask for that switch to be installed somewhere around my desk. Now, take the doors behind the desk and turn left. The way to the vault should be open now. I will not contribute to depriving my grateful employer of his hard-earned savings. We're opening this vault with or without your help, you old nut job. Uh, what is this intricate device? Robocop! I knew our founder would send his best! <clears throat> We're not done yet. You have a bomb Mr. strapped Parker, to you. You're, you're still alive! I only played dead so I didn't end up like you, with a bomb strapped to my body. Robocop, you have to defuse it. The explosion could cause the company enormous losses. Alright. An opportunity for an ambitious officer. I'll be watching you from a safe distance. Officer Washington, I am looking at a ticking bomb. A, a bomb? Okay, I, I'm passing you through to the bomb squad. There is no time. I will need your help to defuse it. Gosh, I mean, I, I'll do my best, but, but just give me a moment. First aid, kidnapping. Are you looking for a bomb defusing chapter in the police manual? Found it. First rule, call qualified personnel. Oh, no. Okay. Tell me what you see. Four batteries. Four connectors with different voltage. What's the highest voltage? 24 volts. Four cables. Green, two reds, and blue. Four cables? Got it. It is a C4 explosive and seems to be homemade. Yeah, that's what I'd expect from the street vultures. Cables lead to the fuse. Does the fuse appear to be electronic? Affirmative. Okay. So they used this kind of bomb before. According to the diagram, you should detach three cables. Start from the one with the highest voltage, then proceed down one at a time to the one with the lowest voltage. There are two different color 12 volt cables. Which one do I detach first? Uh, okay, maybe this isn't the time, but I'm colorblind. Based on my engineering database, I have determined that the order of detaching the 12 volt cables is irrelevant. So you knew all along? I thought you may learn something here. Okay, then start with the 24 volt connector, then proceed to detach the 12 volt cables. Okay. So 24 is green. Um. 
Um, it's that one. There we go. It was just a minor incident. Ready to get back to business? Because I need to make a withdrawal. Like, now. Well, I should really check upstairs. Nonsense. This is OCP. Money comes first. <laughs> now, open the vault. Th there you go, sir. Great. Now out of my way. It's a single gold bar. What the hell is this? Yeah. Where is all the money? Our founder has most of our capital tied up in a very ambitious and resource heavy project. Uh, I can't believe old man's blowing all of OCP's money on Delta City. Have some respect, young man. Arnold? Back with the money in the next well even. You should be proud to work for such a great man. At this rate, soon there might be no one left to work for him. Of course. See what I'm talking about? All right, I'm going to. Where does, this, where does this leave me? Let me hit continue and see if we're at the tunnel, if we're super at that part. I will not I'll have to I'll have to do this whole bomb section again. Alright, well, the next time we come back, I'll start us from the tunnels part, and then uh, we'll continue forward from there. So, take care everybody, I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye.